All right, new polling out of Victorian electorate of Dunkley is showing a massive swing against Labor. While the Labor polling shows their candidates slightly ahead three weeks out from the ballot, that margin is tightening. 4.3% swing there, it says, against the government, even after their tax cuts for all pledge. For a bit more on this, I'm joined by Northern Territory Senator, of course, Shadow Minister for Indigenous Australians, Jacinta Nampajimpa-Price. Well, great to have you on. This is actually not about your portfolio. I want your campaigning skills. I want a sense from you what it feels like on the ground in Dunkley because I know you were the star of the show down there on the weekend. What's it feel like? Mm. What, what are voters raising with you, Jacinta? Oh, look, they're raising the fact that, uh, you know, they're, they're not convinced. They haven't had the wool pulled over their eyes uh, to the $15 a week uh, for Australians, uh, you know, with regard to the tax cuts that the government has passed. Um, because they have seen straight through it. And a lot, a lot of that comes from the fact that, um, well, there were a lot of Labor voters in the area that voted no uh, during the referendum. And uh, there's, there are actually people who came up to us uh, who stated that they were long-term Labor voters and that because of the referendum, because of the backflip on promises uh, and the continuation of broken promises, they just can't believe uh, the, the conduct of the Albanese government. But they also mentioned um, the conduct of the Victorian government and how they've, they've explained that Daniel Andrews has ruined many lives. And so that's bled into now this federal by-election uh, going forward. So a lot of those voters aren't silly. They have been hurt uh, by both governments, but certainly by the Albanese government, and they simply uh, don't trust him. And we had a number of people who were long-term Labor voters come up to us and, and state those things. Well, trust is a big thing at the moment with the Prime Minister because, of course, the, despite the voice referendum result, overwhelmingly saying, no, we don't want race in our constitution, the Prime Minister's still got treaty on the table. We know there's millions for it in the budget. There's still a whole unit in the department, hasn't been disbanded, still working on a Macarada. I mean, what doesn't the government understand about the vote last year? I have no idea what they don't understand. And the, there are a number of questions that I will be asking uh, the NIAA around uh, this funding that exists for Macarata and for Treaty. Uh, you know, I imagine that the, the states and territories that are trying to uh, implement Treaty or going through their negotiations at the moment, that they would then probably seek support from the federal government uh, to do so. Uh, right now, the federal government can claim that they're not doing anything, but I feel there's probably movement by stealth uh, in order uh, when it comes to treaty and Makarata. But it's it's simply wrong. Uh, the Australian people have expressed their position on it. They don't want to be divided along the lines of race. We shouldn't be uh, attempting to hold treaties with our own citizens, uh, and we can't continue to provide mm. an environment where opportunists take advantage of the situation. Of course, the Senate's not sitting in the usual way. You've got Senate estimates this week. I think this is why we're finding out the things we are about the detainees and other issues. You were in the hot seat today uh, going after some questions regarding the Environmental Defender's Office. I know the Coalition has said, if elected, we'll scrap funding or taxpayer funding uh, for this organisation. But you're pretty concerned about these allegations of witness coaching, aren't you? Absolutely. I mean, that's what um, the High Court has found, that there has been uh, witness coaching, there has been misleading traditional owners. I mean, I've heard from uh, traditional owner groups themselves about many who will, in fact, avoid the Environmental Defender's Office because of the way that they conduct themselves and they will single out individuals and then pit people against one another. Uh, you know, when I asked, uh, of course, um, the Minister would Minister Plibersek, why hasn't she apologised yet to the traditional owners that have been affected in this case? Uh, there was no real answer as to why. And I, and I asked, of course, will she apologise? Um, but no such apology seems to be on the horizon uh, for these traditional owners. But I've said it so many times that there are many Indigenous Australians uh, in, these, in these places that are taken advantage of 
by those with their own political uh, agendas and ideologies, and it has to stop. Jacinda, great to catch up with you as always. Uh, well done on your Dunkley campaign. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think it's early March we've got that by-election. Thanks for your time.